Hi, this is Becky from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about a stigma-free Halloween. It's almost Halloween, and it's an interesting holiday, or it's notwithstanding. But a common theme on Halloween is the stigma attached to mental illness. We've all seen the costumes featuring straight jackets of a mental patient, and we've all been through the haunted asylums. And that is very stigmatizing. It perpetuates the myth that people with mental illness are scary or dangerous. I will admit it has crossed my mind to go out dressed in my normal street clothes carrying a sign that says psychiatric patient and have that be my Halloween costume because it would be true and it would help derail the stigma because I'm an approachable individual and I can uh, explain the myths about mental illness. But it raises a valuable question. Why is this acceptable? We wouldn't do a haunted cancer ward, and I have seen uh, haunted houses featuring people dying of HIV AIDS, and those are very <laughs> controversial because it's a terrible disease that should not be the topic of a cheap scare. Well, my personal theory is that people fear what they don't understand, as a line from the X-Men cartoon says. Mental illness hits too close to home for people. Anybody can be mentally ill. It can happen to anyone. And that's exactly what's so scary about it. <clears throat> Forgive my voice, I have a cold. But we don't have to be afraid of people with mental illness. We're just like everybody else. We're no more violent than the rest of the general population. We're actually more likely to be the victims of violence than the general population. So when you see a haunted asylum or a person dressed as a psychiatric patient stereotype, use it as a teachable moment to explain the truth behind mental illness, that it's just another form of illness. That's all I have to say on the subject. Take care.